All right, all right. It's been about four weeks since we had our wood put into our solar kiln. And Jay right now is actually going to start pulling some of this material out because we need to get to the poplar to finish the siding over at the carriage house. Now our solar kiln is a little bit, uh, let's call it turbocharged compared to just using the sun and maybe a solar fan. During the winter time, it's so cold and you can see it's cloudy here. We're getting absolutely no sun exposure and your wood will take forever to dry. So we've actually installed and I built out of a 55 gallon drum this fireplace, which has been running for the last month. Boom, we're just shutting it down. And we burn all our scrap wood. Beautiful bunch of cedar that we're gonna turn into uh, tongue and groove ceiling, ceiling material. We're really trying to get to the bottom poplar. This is actually poplar. We made a uh, lap siding. That's actually, we're getting ready to stain and install over at the carriage house as well. Um, and this is actually completely all dry. Uh, it's been in our kiln for 30 days. Now I've already checked this and went around but I've been in and out of here and we're actually coming up. This is the wettest beam I could find at 11.5. And this is actually here, 10.2. Everything else is reading under 10. 11 right here at the bottom in the middle, low. Now this is actually gonna be exterior siding so we don't need to get it to the 8%. Um, you could also tell that a poplar shrinks quite a bit, so you don't want to make the siding, put it on wet, shrink, have all sorts of problems. You can also tell that this is dry, is that I would have cut everything nominal. So this would have been 11 inches. You can see it's actually shrunk 5 eighths of an inch. Usually it's between half inch and at the most three quarters, but same thing, 11, 10 and a half. So these would have been cut at 12, they're 11 and a half. So that also tells me if my moisture meter is reading low, <clears throat> I know that I'm under 10%. And then if my, I get consistent shrinkage throughout the package, and since we've done this before, I know what it'll it, it does shrink down to even if it's left out in the sun for years But we're gonna remove this package. I got another patch of a poplar back here And we're gonna actually turn that plane all this material and turn it into exterior vertical flap siding Now when I say our solar kiln is turbocharged because one I have a commercial dehumidifier running at all times. Right now we opened it up so we're at 56% humidity. Yesterday it was running at about 38. So I know that the wood has already been done. I also have a multitude of fans blowing. And this fan here, and from our fireplace, this is a heat exchanger. I just put another 55 gallon drum the smoke comes in, warms this can, we use the fan to blow it around. So in the summertime, it's really going to turbocharge it, but in the wintertime, you're still able to use your solar still, solar still, solar kiln, and make use of your wood. Now he's going to pull this lap siding out now. going to give me a better time to check the boards in the middle here. 
these would have had the least amount of airflow on them. So I use a plastic baffle so that the wood doesn't see any of the sunlight and I have my fans blowing the heat on top of it down through here. My third fan is blowing off of our heat exchanger right here. So I'm just gonna check these top boards, nine and a half. Uh, the bark I can't tell, nine and a half, nine and a half. Now I would never cut nine and a half and put it in here. All my numbers would have been nominal, 10, 11, 12. So this is all ready to go. We're gonna actually cut it down on our mill saw again, straighten out any of the pieces that we need, cut it to size. Then we're gonna plane it. Then we're gonna put in our lap joints. Then we're gonna stain it. Then we're gonna hang it. All right, we've determined that our pack is dry enough for us to turn into siding. You'll see, I keep chunks of wood in here. We use them as weight. I'll cut them down for pins. I always have available amount of wood. Wintertime, I keep all my Woodridge products here. My anchor seal. Gives me a good place to store some stuff that's not going to freeze. So again, commercial dehumidifier. This is a solar fan, but you see, look, nothing. Couple of box fans. These work the best, the cheapest. And then again, this is actually a heat exchanger. So we're getting rid of all the pieces of wood from our mill. We're actually heating it up help drying our wood and this is four weeks inside a um, our solar kiln four weeks to the day I was a little concerned it might not be done but I've been checking on it there's big ones even the Even the big ones, we're reading low, and I'm jamming that in there. You see that? I promise it works. Ow. See, look. There's me. 33% water. Works great. We have 21 feet of room. I try to leave enough air gap in here. This side, that side, not stuff it here. We could have actually went a couple of feet taller, but um, I needed to get this wood out uh, as quick as possible. We finagle the last batch out. I'll, I'll just cut it off. I mean, if, if it's a problem, or can you get out of here? I think I can get out. I'm just going to come back over this way and then back it out wider. That's it. You could, you could spin a little bit that way. Okay, go out. Okay. Whew. Okay. He's on the way over to the mill so we can process it. So there you have it. There's the inside of ours. 
So really we got about nine and a half feet of storage room that way. And I know it's 20 feet this way. Okay, so after we've emptied the kiln today, you can see I got a pretty healthy stack. You see, I know I cut a bunch of different size. There's a one by 10 cedar. Uh, there's probably 12s down in there as well. This is actually 150, I want to say 150, 180 pieces of poplar Dutch lap siding that we cut over on our sawmill. And we got this massive stack of three quarter by 12 poplar that we're going to turn into siding. And even this three inch, three inch by 16, these pieces right here, we are actually going to build barn doors with them to go on the outside of our shop. So we got this massive pile that we're gonna turn into siding and some doors. And we're gonna start cutting first this pile. So in that little kiln, 30 days, processed all this wood, ready to be used or sold. We use it all. <laughs> 